in every exercise there are four different functions of the muscles that are involved in the movement first you have the agonist which is the prime mover and the main muscle you are exercising next we have the antagonist which is the opposing muscle of the antagonist and the one that acts in control to it you also have the stabilizer muscles which are toes that hold a joint in place so that the exercise can be performed free weight exercises generally use a lot more stabilizers than machine or guided ones because you not only have to lift the weight but you also need to balance it and keep it in place and lastly you have the assistor muscle which helps the agonist muscle to work let me give you an example when you do biceps curls the biceps are the agonist the triceps are the antagonist and various muscles including the deltoids are stabilizer muscles but if you do a triceps exercise like the triceps push down now the triceps become the agonist and the biceps become the antagonist so as you can see the agonist antagonist relationship always changes depends on which exercise you do and what muscle you are trying to target what you need to know is that every muscle group has an opposite muscle the following table shows you each of the most important muscles another thing to keep in mind that for optimum muscular development you need to have the right balance between both agonist and antagonist if one is much stronger than the other one you can overpower and injure yourself so that posture is also often the result of one muscle being stronger than its counterpart if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go if you have any questions comment below give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on youtube instagram and facebook to your success your health and wealth mentor